Nikola Tesla was born at midnight during a wild and very scary lightning storm. Reading this as a bad omen, the midwife said that he will be a child of darkness, but his mom replied, no, he will be a child of light. Tesla was one of five kids, his mother was an inventor and his father was a priest. Nikola Tesla was a gifted kid, he had a photographic memory, he could remember images and entire books in detail, he always said that he inherited his geniusness from his mom. He loved reading books, writing poetry, and was very creative and had powerful imagination. From a very early age, he could also do, without any problem, very complicated calculations in his head. So his teachers often accused him of cheating. Because he loved math and science, Tesla dreamed of becoming an engineer. But that idea was constantly rejected by his father, who wanted him to follow his footsteps. But at the age of 17, something terrible happened. Tesla got sick with cholera. He was bedridden for nine months and almost died multiple times. His father promised to send him to an engineering school if he recovered. And thankfully, he did. In the Technical University of Graz, he fell in love with electricity and became thirsty for knowledge about this mysterious and wonderful force. He was passionate and one of the best students. Tesla never missed a single lecture and passed all of his exams. But when his father passed away, his life fell apart. He stopped focusing and putting effort in his education and focused on gambling. Unfortunately, he lost a lot of money, including his tuition fee, which led him to drop out of college and never graduate. At the age of 28, Nikola Tesla arrived in New York City with only 4 cents in his pocket. He was hired by Thomas Edison to make improvements on his DC motor, and Tesla worked day and night for several months. The funny thing is, Edison promised Tesla that if he succeed, he will pay him $50,000. Maybe Edison underestimated him, thinking he gave him an impossible job. So he was quite surprised and impressed when Tesla successfully completed the task. But sadly, Edison never paid him the $50,000 he had promised. And when Tesla confronted him about it, Edison told him that he was just joking. Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Shocked and disappointed, Nikola Tesla quit his job and never looked back. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. But Nikola Tesla formed his own company with the help of two investors. He developed and patented a light that was safer, cheaper and more efficient, and it was a big success. But the investors took over the company from Tesla, leaving him jobless with no money. And he didn't even own the patents. He couldn't get a job in his field, so for a year he worked on the streets digging ditches for two dollars per day. He said that it was the most depressing time of his life, and he even considered the worst. Luckily, he received funding for his new company. He designed the AC electric system and successfully filed for patents that were later bought by George Westinghouse for $60,000 and stocks in his corporation. So even though Tesla and Edison were rivals for years, because of AC's greater efficiency, Edison lost and Tesla helped bring electricity to the United States. The money Tesla made from selling the patents gave him the funds he needed to pursue his own interests. As we already know, Nikola Tesla had an incredible imagination. He imagined the technology for radio astronomy, radar, x-rays, and he also took the first x-ray photographs. Tesla had even envisioned today's smartphones and Wi-Fi. He created the Tesla coil, which is still used in radio technology. While he was preparing the first real radio signal, a fire destroyed his lab. Other inventors stole his ideas and took credit for them. For example, Marconi took credit for inventing the radio. He even won a Nobel Prize for it. What made Tesla even more furious was when he found out that the whole project was sponsored by Thomas Edison. He found his justice when the court granted the patents to Tesla because they were based on his work. 
But sadly, that happened after he died. Nikola Tesla died in a hotel in New York City at the age of 86. He was an amazing scientist who patented more than 300 inventions and invented God knows how many more. The legacy of his work lives on to this day. Even though he lost the credit for many of his discoveries, he still is one of the greatest inventors this world has ever seen. He was brave and never afraid to propose ideas that were way ahead of their time. He was always one step ahead of everyone else. He didn't care about money. He only cared to make a better future for the world we live in today. And often, people weren't ready for his inventions, and he never cared about that. He had a vision that others couldn't see. So if you've ever been told that you're crazy or that your ideas are ridiculous, don't try to convince those around you that you're right. They might not see it yet. Convince yourself and get to work. Don't be afraid to tap into the unknown. Don't be afraid to explore your ideas, even though nobody believes in them. Use your imagination. You have the power to change the world. Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. So, what's your story?